Right, a little bit more for the Saturday. I wasn't expecting to get this far, to be honest. Um, I thought I'd have a go at getting the caliper off. Um, so, took the uh, uh, front brake fluid reservoir top off, topped it up, tried to pump it through, had all sorts of issues. Another thing that I hate about scooters is the fact that the handlebars routinely try and kill you. Um, so at which point the handlebar spun, chucked out all of the uh, brake fluid, chucked it down the side of the bike and trashed me fucking paintwork. Um, irritating, really irritating, but frankly it's only a small section and it'll serve me bloody right to put it on in the first place. Maybe I'll learn, maybe I won't. Um, so what, managed to get it off um, with a bit more effort this time. Um, and what have we got? Difficult to see in the light. Bit shacked. Actually. Not bad. Bit shacked, but not bad. And actually the cylinder itself is clean. Now the killer and actually the seals look all right, actually. I'm quite suitably impressed just by the fact the state of that oh and I broke the uh, nipple valve last time I was trying to do it so I ordered a new one it's fine good, good. the question is that it's whether or not I can get that cleaned out and the bottom end of it is actually you know pretty good but it's how far and I don't think it can't go that far because the seals don't get used so it should be okay um, I'll be bored against using the braces on that, so I'll just get some metal polish on it and see how it works. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to film that. I'll just um, crack on, I think. Um, but, yeah, I'll give that a good douse tonight. Maybe give it a paint up. Give what I can clean off a clean. Order some brake pads. Uh, brake pads. Brake pod pads. And see how we go. Cool. Okay, so post clean up, um, trying to get some focus ability on that, really not too bad, it's a bit pitted at the top, but frankly that's the braking surface, I'm less bothered, it's more around the body here, which is the uh, piston surface, so I think that's salvaged, or salvageable, um, the other bits and pieces down here, I took the ring out to clean it, Ugh. And it's perfect so absolutely no problems with that either fits beautifully uh, nice and clean inside a bit dusty now because I've been pissing around with it um, I might just chuck a drop of paint around the outside um, probably this evening at some point once I've uh, taken the kids out and thrashed them around a little bit burn some of their energy um, yeah so cool just about everything I wanted done which is probably a first well apart from the sodding wheel um, tire, sorry, there's nothing I'm doing about that. So, um, I need to order some brake pads because those ones are that really shot. Uh, order some brake pads. I am going to have to redo that little panel that, oh, sorry, wrong side. Uh, this panel that I managed to chuck brake fluid all over and it's just burnt off the paint. Um, frankly, I cocked it up a bit anyway, so if I was going to trash one of them, I'm probably glad it's that side. Um, panels are in here just to cure make sure the kids don't stand on them um, again that might be another evening job tonight where I just in front of the telly just stick a few layers of polish um, and a vehicle polish over the top that probably that stuff there um, that I've had for years um, and just to give them a little bit of depth and a little bit of protection um, tomorrow if we get the opportunity there's nothing to stop me from uh, potentially throwing a lot of it back together. I could throw the front end back on, which would be good. Um, yeah, could be a good day tomorrow. Could actually get like a bike on A bike with a really flat tire. <laughs> Cheers all. Okay, so the last video of the day. Um, been a really productive one, actually. Um, I'm not gonna show you the bike because it will ruin the surprise because I'm kind of two thirds of the way through, but looking at the brakes, looking a lot better um, obviously the uh, bleed nipple is screwed got a new one on order but I'm not going to touch it because it's still a bit tacky I'll just leave it overnight I think um, but actually I'm really quite chuffed for one I managed to get them off 
um, but actually they are salvageable and, and once you've got past the initial keck they're actually in quite good condition so uh, I'll leave those to cure and dry overnight um, might do a quick video tomorrow but it won't be a great deal because I've not got a lot I can do without either a tyre um, or brake pads so um, I keep the family happy because I won't be hiding from them in the garage but actually no, I'm quite chuffed with what I've achieved today um, and I'll do a little bit of a reveal tomorrow once the bodywork's um, all dried off and been polished up a little bit cool see you tomorrow